Good afternoon, morning, ladies and gentlemen, mothers, fathers, daughters, sons, brothers and sisters. This is episode 9 of the Panorama Pandemonium Challenge. Next Audi in sequence is the e-tron version of the R18. <coughs> From one LMP car, LMP1 car to another. Let's see if we fare any better with this one. If I remember correctly, this is the one with the self-deploying curse. Ah, so we do have a curse bar on the bottom right. Whoa! Sorry. Whoa. Ah, that's good. At least we have that much on the interface. That's good. Oh, come on, bots! I'm actually stationary! Fine. Any driver aids? Just the attraction control again. What am I in before this one? 253 8s. Oh. I have a uh, monitor, a, a rear-facing monitor, so I actually have some kind of rear view in this car. Oops. I'm already doing better in this car, as I'm uh, up to a higher position than I finished in, with the uh, R18. Weird spin down noise of the uh, turbos or whatever it is. Uh, I'm no fan of uh, self deploying curves units. It's not so bad in dry conditions such as this, but in the Luster Bay Challenge, it really was a problem because the curves kept deploying at times I really didn't want it to, which left me with no curves at times I did want it. Ah, so that bar over my time on my driving, on my uh, steering wheel, is actually my curves amount. Oh, bump. Sorry, Roland. Bad, 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 bad. Still going, it's fine. No one noticed. I don't know what it, what it is, but visibility feels a bit better in this car than uh, in the last R18. Whether that's actually true or not, I have no idea, but it feels... I have a bit more confidence with spatial awareness in this car. Ah, he says, just as he clouts into someone, I knew they were there. Just uh, hadn't looked over to see if I got past him. Uh, well, I clearly hadn't. Ooh, big uh, plume of dust. And I just made it. Come through. What are we after again? 153 8. 153.890. Better broken. Oh, well done, sir. Let me dive on there on the inside of me. Quite a way off 153 at the moment. 
Let's see how we do this time. Whoops. Okay. wide into turn four, not usually a good idea. Oh, sorry Toyota. I think it was a Toyota. Uh oh. Whoa. Oh, that was uh, that was a sudden change of direction. Break is over, right? And then uh, cocked up the uh, easy right hander. Yeah, I think that 153 is going to be a bit beyond me. That was an awful line into turn one. Ah. Oh. Yeah, that target time I think is going to be a bit beyond me. Never mind. I'm doing pretty well position wise there. I'm quite pleased with that. Ow, 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 get off the. No. Great idea. <laughs> Not an ideal overtaking spot, but I'll take it. At least it didn't hit him. Uh, nudged him. I'm not having to fight this car as much as I did the last uh, R18 either. Well, it doesn't feel like I am. It might look like I am. Whew. Sorry! Don't judge that. to go for two of them. Barging my way into second there. Very uh, unsportsman, Mike. And the amount of barging I've done is disgraceful. We've all seen how the bots do it uh, pretty uncalculatingly to you. And on this track, I think I'm going to have to, to uh, some degree. I was full throttle through that bit. Four 
four seconds up, goodness me. I'd need to be more than that to hit the 53. But I might get close to it. Sprint to the line! No. Nope. <laughs> 154.9, I think. No man is there in the end. The dirt on the front of the car. 159.2. That was the last valid one. But, uh, as I did with a lot of bargy, argy bargy going on there. And the second base was Neutron as well. So, not such a big uh, time gap between me and the uh, top few, but certainly further down the list. Marix and the RWDs. And they're not all that much slower than me, trying to, I don't think. Maybe they are. I have no idea. Moving on, next car, it's another LMP, it's the R8 LMP900. Should have plenty of visibility in this one without a roof. Let's give it a go. Lots and lots of dials and switches. Ooh, hey, ah, oh, come on! My line! Ah, oh, those, ow, those gear change lights appear quite quickly. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm going to start that again. <laughs> that was, uh, that wasn't very good. Dear, dear, two restarts in the same episode. I've got no drive rate, and I indeed I don't. Oh, that was so nearly a jump start. Whoa! -ho! That's better. Ow. Looks like I did look right and backwards at the same time there. Oh, no! Uh, I didn't get disqualified. That'll do. Putting away in second isn't the uh, greatest thing either. In this car, at least. Some cars you do need to, because the amount of torque you get in first is uh, uh, over, overwhelms the... Overwhelms the times. What on earth is this hook thing going on? On the bonnet here. What would essentially be the bonnet. What on earth is that for? It's like a hook you used to pull blinds down with. Oh, that was close. Kevin Pidgeot. Oh, no. Really should stop doing that. Chaotic. Ah! And then we're off the road. Not no digital display of the thing, The only problem is you cover it up when you steer. When you're steering, you're concentrating on your apex, really. Be looking at the dash, I suppose. One fifty five nine six five, we are going for this time. Whoops, sorry.
no, 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 no. Oh, crikey. Once the back end goes in this thing, that is it. You are going to the wall. Oh. It's so hard to recover a... Recover from a slide. Nudging the bot there. Come on! Got behind Jay Hunt again. Oh, clouted Jay Hunt as I tried to switch back to the inside. Misjudged that one completely. Early on the brakes again. Nah. Not even going to bother looking at the uh, target time <laughs> until really I can start getting some clean laps with this thing. is a particularly difficult car to drive. You just you have got to be very very careful uh, getting the horses down. But also, if the back end does go, it is near impossible to recover recover it. That one was a very tiny little slide. It doesn't take much before the slide is irrecoverable. It's better. Whoops, I didn't actually mean to pull alongside the bot there, I just carried much more speed through that section than he did. Should we really be going too wide there? Oh, yeah, that was my fault. Uh, well, we're going the wrong way through the gears. Yellow flags! Whoa! It was a little bit too eager to get uh, back up and running again there. Ugh, good grief, right? Come on, settle down, focus. Are you curious about this book thing going on? the bonnet of this car. What on earth could that be for? If anybody knows, please leave a comment on what the heck that thing can be used for. Two more laps to go. So cautious. Well, I guess we 
into the top 16 at least. Which is my primary goal for each car. to catch that one. You certainly need bump friendly cars in uh, on Bathurst and this isn't one of them. Oh, what was it again? 155.9? Yeah, I doubt it. <laughs> I just doubt it. Oh, that was terrible. Whoa. No. I'm facing the right way. Oh, this car is very twitchy. Ah, yeah. Get round. Whoa. Too late. Way, 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 way too late. Oh, that was awful. That was awful. So many crashes and bumps. Not one valid lap. That was uh, disgraceful. Oh well. That's the end of this one. We'll see you again soon. Thank you very much and goodbye.